Hello, I'm Keith at Clint and welcome to my video channel. What I'm going to do today is to look at um, another machine, if those people are fortunate to have one of these, which is a mill. Um, this site is uh, primarily designed for people who uh, have just acquired a lathe or want to get a lathe and a lot of turning tips. But there's other things as well in machine shop engineering. And some of these hints and tips You'll find uh, you won't find them in textbooks. I recently acquired this particular mill here. Let's have a look at it a bit closer. Yeah, it's a Chinese mill, and it uh, was made for a company in Shanghai called Siege. And I noticed that when I've been using it, it was a problem. In in fact, when I first got the thing, if you look at the uh, at the back of the machine. Let me see if I can get closer to it, to it here. Uh, yeah. At the back of the machine, there. Inside there, there's a slot there. There's one at the other side as well. And what happens is that when, you, when you're using these mills, on a vertical mill, um, you get a lot of swarf, a lot of chippings and they, they fly all, all over the place and they get down there. <coughs> I, I bought this <coughs> second hand and it was full all down there for a swath. It took a long time to get out. Now I thought well, this is no good because it's time consuming. I like to have my machines clean. So some of the, some of the machines have, you can buy bellows but they may cost 50 or 60 pounds for these bellows. And then the swath sticks to the bellows, you've got to clean them. So I thought of a very simple, inexpensive way to uh, eradicate the problem. And I did it simply by uh, having uh, uh, another, another, another use for a, uh, ice cream. So, <laughs> so yeah, it's cheap enough, isn't it? And you enjoy the ice cream. <laughs> anyway, the thing is, uh, I cut it to shape so it fitted at the back of the... Uh, the back of the machine, the, the the mill, and it fits in. You see, I cut it there. Some some mills are different, and some are bigger and smaller. But you can just check it out. And I utilised the slots there to hold it into position. That's these two slots there. So I cut this roughly to shape, and I'm going to apply it. Slots in there like that. Good. So now the, the, it's sitting, the swarf sitting that and falling onto the, the base of it. It doesn't stop, however, swarf getting to the uh, um, above it. And as you wind this, as you wind it up and down. So what I did, um, I got round that <coughs> easily. Why? Having a piece of card like that, you, you've probably got some lying around the house. I cut it roughly to shape and bent it just an angle there. And so I, put, I bent it so that it would go under, underneath like that. And there's a magnet here. the common old gardener magnet falls into position there and just make it firmer I had another magnet which I put at the other side like so so the beauty of this arrangement is that when you can move it up and down this bit here goes over the ice cream carton. <laughs> it's, I mean, it costs nothing, really, and you might save yourself 50, 60 pounds. Um, the other thing I did was to... I found out that the swarf, this was hitting, the swarf was hitting this all the time, and uh, it was throwing it back onto the machine. I'm trying to get you a better view here. Uh, let's see. I don't know if I 
I can. Yeah. Hmm. Yes, just just down there. You see. So here, the swath was collected in there as well. Okay, you can clean it off, but it also goes underneath the carriageway, so it makes it easier. So we want we want to make things as easy to clean as easy to clean as possible. So all I did was to cut another piece of uh, th this is not actually a card, but it was a, a laminated card. What you it can be blank and doesn't, doesn't matter what it is. It's just laminated. The lamination gives it a bit uh, a bit more rigidity. So I cut that to shape to go over the that bit there. And it fits roughly underneath. Underneath there, let me see if we can see it again. See, so it's it's fitted underneath there, and stops the swath coming along there. It makes it a lot easier to clean up. So all you simply simply do is to get the swath off there with a, with a brush, and it's easy to clean. So that's a nice little hint. You can also, um, if you're too particular as well, and you don't want uh, the swath to gather in other places, like there, for instance, <clears throat> you can also put just a little insert there. And one at the other side. It might seem very crude, but let me tell you folks, it works. And it's cost nothing. So what I'd like you to do, if you like that little hint and tip, um, give me a, a, a like, hit the like button. Please uh, subscribe to my uh, video channel so, so that you don't miss any more. And uh, you'll be notified when I'm, I'm, I'm going to put videos on every month uh, on this video channel. You can also, if you see my other video, the introduction video, of to how Clint started um, with uh, the, what was advertised as the the best tattoo machine in the world on my on my website. You'll find out it's not me that said that, but um, the website is www. Can't speak www. Clint.co.uk. Have a look at that. There's some really good information, and you can also join my. Uh, Clint's Academy, where you can ask more specific and in-depth questions, which will be answered more personally. You don't have to join it, but you you know if you do, there's also different products that you can get and uh, a great discount. So you'll get get a good deal there. So in the meantime, um, this is the machine. Uh, what we looked at today, that's the Siege, and um, click the like button. Make a comment, and also on the website, there's a, a section there that you can send me uh, quite lengthy messages or whatever, and I do my best to answer everyone. Um, so today, that concludes this this video. So please give us a mention, hit the subscribe button, check out the, uh, the website. I'm sure you find it interesting, and uh, as I said before, happy turning.